Sorry for this slow. It started out with just me wanting to get socks, then I got a hoodie, then I got chocolate milk, then I used the bathroom. So, it's, uh, and my RAM is going to be here probably in a couple hours, if that, which I'm super excited for. I probably arguably need a new video card more, but the RAM is going to be, or at least should be insanely helpful um, for my 3D work that I've started doing, so. And I've had some pretty cool ideas for, um, when I'm ready to try and do commissions and stuff. So, I'm looking forward to trying to get out and do that and stuff. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, I was gonna go do that quest. Which is this way. There's no splashing. The water doesn't look terrible, but there's no splashing. Actually, what's weird is the water looks kind of grainy. That's I feel like that's slightly lazy creature design. Cause it's like somebody was like, we should have like a snake like creature. And then somebody was like, How about just a snake? And they're like, no, it can't be just a snake because it's on an alien planet. It's like, how about a Bat snake. Sure. Also, I feel like there should be a photo mode in this. Unless there is, and I just don't know the hotkey. I'm trying to do these side quests first, though, because... Um, I have a feeling I'm strongly underpowered and I have, like, no gear. So... Okay, so both of these quests are here. Maybe I can get good enough that I can do, like, concept work for, um... Concept, if not final work, for world design for, like, creatures and ecosystems and shit. That'd be kind of cool. I actually really like doing that kind of thing. Like coming up with like a whole mini ecosystem in terms of the fauna.
Ooh, a hunting rifle. I wonder if that's any good. Wait, did I kill all of these people? That doesn't seem right. An assault rifle? I thought there was another corpse over here somewhere there. Just... Oh, there we go. We'll come back over this way, though, because I know there's a quest up that way, too. I'm going all of these buildings? Oh, I can. Locked, that was sure locked. Hacking and picking locks. Your hacking and lock pick skills help you get into places you're not meant to be. Mag picks are used to break open locks, and bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will see how many mag picks or shunts you need and how long it will take. Raising your skill will lower the number of items used and the speed up the process. Trespassing, lockpicking, hacking, and murder are all considered illegal activities and are frowned upon by society. Avoid being seen if you want to engage in these activities without consequences. But I just stole from Marauders. Messages from Jay Bartel. Come and I find I must disagree with your theories about the Earth di uh, Directorate's place in the colonial system. Sadly, as much as I appreciate the board and the new frontier they've opened for us, I believe Halcyon and the other and all the other colonies on the rim of the galaxy would fall to pieces or war amongst themselves if the Earth Directorate wasn't around to regulate trade and settle disputes. Do you think the corporations would accept the mandated? Inclusion of an Earth Minister if they had a choice in the matter? Of course, I never dispute that Earth is the heart of the whole colonial system, but the real adventure and independent spirit upon which humankind truly thrives is to be found out here among the furthest colonies. I still think you're wrong about the history, though. The discovery of, a skip, of the skip drive was not what gave the Earth Directorate power over the corporations. The high costs of the Great War left them in 
a weakened state, and the skip drive was simply the extra leverage the director had needed to return to power. I just got the letter today. Corporate ordered me to relocate to the Edgewater Cannery, effective immediately. It's a shame. I was really looking forward to running my own gift shop at the community center, selling rare memorabilia, but scripture tells us that all things happen for a reason. Work fortifies the spirit and all. As for my book collection, I can't bear to part with it. Don't want those books moldering in some contraband locker. So I stashed them all away in a cave over by the river. I don't want my books to be potentially destroyed or locked away forever, so I'm going to stick them in a cave near a wet spot. I don't think the dude knows how paper works. Okay, are there any other buildings? Can I check out this building? Nope. I can get that. We'll do this one next. That almost didn't go well.
But I survived. Okay. Okay, I think that's everything. And upstairs. Moving too much because there is like inventory limits and stuff, but okay, I want to get in there, but I don't have enough block picks yet. So, hopefully, we'll remember where that is. There we go. I'm not very good at this game. I'm kind of glad it went with just normal, though. I like the idea of, like, the hardcore mode, but... So, like, the only difference between normal and hard is essentially it sounded like it just made people more bullet spongy. Which is not that interesting, whereas it sounded like the hardcore mode or the supernova mode actually added like a survival element and stuff like that, which could have been cool, but 
I didn't want to do it as my first playthrough. Um... Okay, there we go, I think. There we go. Level up! Sweet. Okay. Let's see. Um... Let's go with this for now. Uh, by holding the attack button, you charge up an overhead power attack that inflicts significant extra damage. Doing this charge up during a standard attack will prepare a strong sweep attack that can hit multiple enemies in front of you and is hard to avoid. I might take the plus health.
I was shooting them. How did they lose their legs? go okay i think i'm getting slightly better slightly and i'm supposed to be able to repair this from here like from my inventory Oh, what? Oh, right here. There you go. Okay, cool. Okay, I've got a ton more armor, so let's see what we get. Comparing this is dumb. Like, I'm, I'm just better off almost doing this. And then this is four with one handed melee plus five. Ooh, that could be good. Why is there a random arm stuck to the wall? Like, that's not even blown off with somebody. That's like... Stuck to the wall. What the? Vending machines offer a variety of items to purchase, mostly from one company. A hack skill of 20 or higher allows you to sell items to the vending machine. Restricted items... Oh. And a vendor can only be purchased when you have a high enough reputation with the associated faction or a hack skill of 40 or higher. Okay. Okay, so that goes over there. What's over here? Oh, that's the exit. Okay.
I do want to check out the rest of this building. So let's go check out upstairs first. Lots of treasure in here. Never enough treasure, I know. But... If the ocean and rivers are the heart and veins of Emerald Vale, then Saltuna is our highly profitable blood. These meaty fish live in the ocean and migrate upstream during mating season. Saltuna are semiparous, which means they perish after a single reproductive episode. That's when our trusty Spacer's Choice Harvesters scoop up their corpses to be cleaned, processed, canned, and delivered straight to your dinner table. So essentially it's a tuna salmon. This display of fashion to resemble a pair of mighty primals required extensive field research. Let us have a moment of silence for the researchers who gave their lives in the pursuit of authenticity. Oh boy. Cannons can be found all over Emerald Vale in two distinct varieties. Domesticated and feral. Feral cannons hunt in packs, while domesticated cannons can be loyal companions. It is important to remember that the cannon is still a wild animal and should be treated with caution. Does that mean I can get a pet, like, alien puppy? Coming soon, feast your eyes on the great frilled Manta Queen, sovereign of her nest, imported from the wilds of Terra One to thrill and excite your imagination. Well, this isn't ominous at all. It's a weird place for a splatter of blood. The keycard encoder in the lobby is back up and running. Hopefully it won't go on the fritz again and start shooting keycards at anyone who walks by. 
As a reminder, in case it does break down again, you can borrow a key card from the director or one of the workers in the second floor office if you lose your card. I must lodge a complaint. Your obsession with this Manta Queen is wasting all of our budget and holding up development on the entire exhibit. This has to stop. This letter is to update you regarding your quest, request for one adult Manta Queen. As you may remember, our trackers discovered a beautiful specimen out in the wild. For your approval, we deployed a team of our highly skilled hunters to kill it for you. We regret to inform you that the entire team has perished. Please expect an invoice from our office including the cost of their gravesite fees as stipulated in our contract. Additionally, we must ask you to cover the cost of all equipment damaged, corroded, dissolved, eaten, or digested, partially or otherwise. Thank you for your patronage. Please allow me to offer you the opportunity to purchase a second hunting expedition at a 10% discount. I look forward to hearing from you. Ugh. I'm feeling really tired today. I'm not even entirely sure why. I like slept in until almost 7 o'clock. Which is almost unheard of for me, so... I'm debating, like, I might end up doing a semi-short day so that I can take a nap. But we'll see. Okay, now we're gonna go do this. How's my... How you doing? Getting more accurate on the... The delivery date. I kind of don't like how the grass disappears that much when you go into it because you can't see where the edge is. Like, it wouldn't be so bad if there was a specific ground texture where it was, but like, how am I supposed to know where the edge is? go. Okay, this is getting a little better. Can I get into this thing? I don't think so. Yeah, this is not even a safe place to keep a book. Thank you. 
You cannot sprint or fast travel while encumbered. Sell, drop, or break down items in your inventory to reduce your carry weight. Your carry weight is displayed in the top left of the ledger. Okay, I'm not that far over. What is this? That looks a lot nicer. Heck yeah. That's a lot better. Okay, I'm pretty much back now. Oh, wait, hang on. Is that the door I wanted to try? No, it was up here. There's one there, too. We'll come up here. Was it this one? Yes. Well, it's Okay, so we got a bunch of stuff from there. Now we will go... I saw a red door up here too, but... I don't know if I'll have enough stuff to get in there. But we can try. Whoa! It was this room. I mean, I was going to be nice to you guys, but I'm guessing this is their nest and they got angry. Definitely got angry. I'll do that after I do this. Oh, 
I'll do this first. Ha! Messages. Ooh, Thompson! Hey boss, just wanted to check up on the new Salt Saltuna Light project. I've been brainstorming some new taglines for the product line, and I think some of them will really catch our customers' attention. Dear Lawrence, I appreciate your hard work on behalf of our beloved brand of Saltuna. I've just received a response from corporate. They're not interested in your idea of a light version of the Saltuna brand because we'd rather not compete with ourselves. But they are interested in the idea of lighter Saltuna. Effective immediately, we have been instructed to use heavier weighted cans so we can pack them with less Saltuna, thereby saving bits to every can. This is exactly the kind of breakthrough our cannery needs. In fact, our logistics department has just confirmed my request to have you transferred from the marketing division to the cannery. Can you imagine, Lawrence? You'll be rubbing elbows with your fellow workers in the canning line, filling each, saltuna, each slightly heavier can with slightly less saltuna, hour after hour, day after day. This is a great and tremendous honor for you and for me. Effective immediately, your position in our marketing division has been terminated. I expect you to report to our foreman tomorrow morning. Your uniform will be deducted from your pay. Good God. Personal files? Ideas for Sultuna light taglines. Melts on your fork, not in your mouth. Ew. Less fat with some Sultuna flavor. Ew. It's brine time. Now with the satisfying crunch of cartilage. You can't spell saltuna without salt. Also can't spell saltuna without ants. Potential to, to market towards family. Leading scientists say it's still food. The saltuna will thank you. Warning may cause auditory hallucinations. Can't get in there, all that's bullshit. See, I like how they actually have the animals worked out in this. Oh, this is a church dude. Okay, give me money now. Any progress on that matter we discussed? Got your book. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait. What the fuck is this? Is this... French? I can't fucking read French. It's a law-forsaken joke is what it is. French. Ha! I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan, while fighting it at every turn. You're overreacting a bit, don't you think? Over... overreacting? Do you have any idea how many years I spent in... <laughs> no. 
You couldn't possibly know, could you? I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. Well, then I guess you gotta I learn French. So I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. At least you still have your mission work to give your life a meaningful purpose. I would say that sarcastically, though, because clearly he doesn't give a shit. Please. As if my life should have no greater meaning than proselytizing to a bunch of feeble-minded wretches. Nothing could be more excruciating than discussing the true nature of reality with people who have no interest beyond their next Aetherwave program. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. What's in it for me? Free spiritual counseling, someone to watch your back. Not to mention a grown-up in the party. I'm pretty handy with a tossball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. Sounds like your competition for me. Is that all a part of your fight care training? Well, understanding computers is, though I admit I took it further than most. And I was quite the 32nd back during my seminary days. <laughs> Left many an opponent bleeding on the field. Okay. Fantastic. Let me get my things in order and I'll catch up with you. I shall see you on the ship, Captain, whenever you're ready to leave Emerald Vale. Okay then. <laughs> All right, guys, I think I'm going to take a break for now. Um, there's a good chance I'll be back this afternoon or this evening. Um, with something, not sure what, but I'm going to see because I've got some... My RAM is due as well, so I might want to just work on some of that. Um, but we'll see. I'm exhausted, though, so I'm going to head off and probably take a nap. Um, tomorrow will either be off or a half day. No, tomorrow will be a half day. And then Sunday will either be off or a half day. Um, just because we've got... We still have so much shit going on. It's starting to calm down a little bit, but then just as it looks like it's calming down, something else comes up that, like takes more things so i'm gonna go get a nap while i can thank you guys for hanging out i will be back either today or tomorrow until then see you guys next time bye everybody